Get your numbers up, folks. And please welcome our last speaker of the evening, Stephanie Bruno. Retirement, twice as much husband on half as much money. <laughs> or maybe you've heard, goodbye tension, hello pension. Or if you're really pessimistic, retirement, when you quit working just before your heart does. <laughs> what do you think about when you think about retirement? Do you think about this guy? He's on a hammock, he's relaxing, talking to his grandkids on his cell phone. <laughs> or maybe it's this woman. She didn't save enough for retirement, so she's on the street. Do you know this woman? Are you related to this woman? Are you afraid of becoming this woman? What do you think about in retirement? Do you think about working? Here's our world's oldest barista. <laughs> He's trying to make us think he's happy as pie to be working, but we know he wants to tell us what we can do with our skinny caramel double shot no whip latte. But really, what do you think about when you think about retirement? What's that picture that comes to mind? I know you've thought about it. Maybe you've even dreamed about it. What is it that is retirement for you? What most people think about is the money. And yes, you will need money to retire. And by the way, 81% of you don't know how much you're going to need. So from here on over, you don't know how much you need for retirement. You folks are okay though. <laughs> I've been a financial planner for 20 years and I can tell you that retirement is about way more than money. It used to be that we retired at 65 and we died 10 years later. Now we're going to live in retirement for 30 years. That's a third of your life. Now you 20 and 30 something year olds, don't go tuning me out saying, gosh, we're almost done here. This doesn't apply to me because it does. And if you give me just three more minutes, I will change your life. <laughs> or at least I'll buy you a beer afterwards. <laughs> so what are the things that make your life great today? You've got career, friends, family, pets, all kind of great stuff going on and you're interacting with people. Well, it makes you think that retirement is any different. In fact, retirement can be like a second adolescence but without the acne. <laughs> Remember your first adolescence? You were pushing boundaries, getting into trouble, engaging in new relationships, maybe even with yourself. <laughs> in retirement, you get to do it all over again but without your parents looking over your shoulder and you probably have moved past those socially awkward times. And the beauty is you'll have plenty more money for all of those trouble-making activities. So there's three things you can do now. First, ask the hard questions. What do you really want? What do you really want? What would you do if you could not fail? Would you go back to school and become a doctor? Would you invent the world's first self-recycling water bottle? Would you start rock climbing? Time is not an issue, you've got nothing but time. Now if you're having trouble with this, think of what you would do if you say, hmm, I got voted off the island, or maybe I lost my job, or someone gave you a million dollars. Your life would have to change, what would you do? So after you ask the hard questions, you need to make a plan. And the first thing you need to do is write down that big dream. It's 42% more likely to happen if you write it down. You're already ahead. And after you write it down, go home. I mean, really, go home tonight and write it down. And after you write it down, write down the next step. What will you do? Will you research a course you can enroll in? Will you maybe talk to someone who has the career that you want? You know, if you want to start a nonprofit, go find somebody who has started a nonprofit and sit down and talk with them. But beware of all the things that are going to get in your way. We're all busy, right? We are taking care of kids, taking care of parents, taking care of pets. We're grocery shopping, paying bills. We're doing all these things. So to make sure you have a plan that you can keep, you need to get some help. Doing it alone sucks and is no fun. So find a friend, a partner, somebody who can help you create a plan and who will cheer you along the way. Or they'll knock you into shape when you get it all wrong and I'll go off track. It really matters. The road ahead is filled with possibility. So ask the hard questions now, make a plan, find your cheerleader, and then go get into trouble because you can't get sent to detention in retirement.
Retirement, it ain't what it used to be.